Hey everybody, welcome back to Truck Talk. And today, we're gonna hopefully ignore how dirty my truck is. Because this mod is one that everybody does when they want to let their truck get a little dirtier without taking damage. What I'm talking about is a lift. So, my truck looks fairly stock, and that's what I wanted. I live in Massachusetts. It has probably some of the strictest modification laws of any state for everything. Massachusetts is basically, it's illegal to modify your vehicle in any way, except for a few little things that you can do. Um, recently exhausts, they're pretty much all illegal now for anything. I think you can still get away with a cat back, but it has to be a certain one and it doesn't really do anything at that point. Um, yeah. I really don't think you can do much at all anymore. But this is one that you can still do as long as you do it right. So for mine, I did a two and a half inch lift, roughly, which looks fairly stock with 31 inch tires. I should be able to squeeze 33s on, and I think I'll do that, and I need new tires since these are only two years old. I should be able to get another year out of them and I don't see the point in upgrading them yet as they still have probably a year or so left and then maybe I'll also do rims as well as some tires. But let's start with the front. Up front I took and just simply replaced the strut with a 5100 Bilstein, super common, adjustable. I put it all the way up to the two and a half inch lift mark. I rented some spring compressors so I could swap over the springs since it was going to be fine knowing that I only have, I had less than 50,000 miles on the trucks when I did this. I now have just over 50,000, almost 52,000 I believe, and it's riding great. I think it improved the ride so much, but uh, there is some photos, I did not take any videos of us doing the swap because it's so common, but since then I've seen so many posts of even mechanics having trouble putting the 5100s together, so I kind of wish I did put a video out there on it because it's really simple. I hate to see people getting confused by just having one thing flipped over wrong. So uh, I believe Riley did take videos because he came over and helped me like he does with a lot of my projects when we're both bored. So the 5100s are in the front. And then I have the 5125 in the rear for the shocks, along with, so you can see them, there's the 5125 series. Some new Expedition All Pro leaf springs, which I found used, but in good condition. They were only on the guy's truck for like 7,000 miles because he needed a heavier duty than what these had for his projects and what he was doing with his truck. His truck was absolutely gorgeous, fully custom everything, great truck, sitting really high. He actually, I think, had probably four inches of lift on his, but these ones, they're a little flattened out because of the weight of the cap. I have been looking into doing an airbag system or just adding another little like one inch block in the back, which I really don't want to do. So I might do a uh, airbag system in the back for when I'm towing stuff like the camper that I'm building. If you haven't seen that link in the description or somewhere there's going to be a card or at the end of the video, there's the playlist. So try that out, check it out, see what you like it. Uh, comment on that, comment on this, but really easy, simple to do. I did this in, Probably it would have been a day if I had started in the morning. I started on the afternoon, did the rear first. The rear went in super easy. I did have to cut down the rear shocks bushings for where they adapt to the axle, which you always have to do with these because they're meant for a different use, but they work for this and they ride great. I haven't had any issue. There's been a few potholes where the whole thing's just compressed which is why I kind of want to do the airbags to add a little bit more help for those giant potholes that I seem to run into. Um, but the front 
that took a while specifically the driver's side if you look in there I'm gonna try and get the camera to fit not sure it really will but right here where the castle nut is that proved to be a problem we actually had to go out and buy a special socket to remove that because the nut self destroyed chaos and the sued we couldn't get it off we just about had to cut it off if it hadn't been for these and then we had to go find a new nut because if not it wasn't going to go well we actually ended up finding the whole uh, system or piece there um, I don't know why I'm blanking on it you know what I mean that whole upper ball joint there we go so we found this whole upper ball joint and just took the nut off it so now I have a spare ball joint sitting in my parts pile without the nut so I hopefully won't have to take that apart anytime soon and I found this lift to be super easy you look nearly stock unless you're parked next to another Tacoma although I've parked next to some third gens that appear stock as well that seem to ride about the same height not sure what that is about could have been that I was just sitting lower in a dirt parking lot next to him so I highly recommend it simple easy to do it really didn't take much more than a few days so you definitely want to make sure you have the time set apart to not have your vehicle and also have another vehicle available in case you do break parts because we had to replace in addition to that castle nut and that buying the whole ball joint had to get new um, sway bar connectors or sway bar end links those from toyota it's just a dumb design you have to like put a allen key in and wrench it it just doesn't make any sense as to why you would do it that way because it's a pain and it rusts and becomes weaker over time as the metal oh yada 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 so we just got some upgraded ones where you can actually put a wrench on to one side and a wrench onto the nut. A lot simpler, a lot easier. I could have gone quick disconnect, but I don't think that's legal in Massachusetts. So before this breeze comes and completely destroys the video, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, check out the rest of the truck talk videos, check out the quarantine camper, check out everything else that I've been doing. I've been putting out a lot of different stuff. Uh, DIY projects, films, uh, vlogs, all sorts of stuff. Even in the back of the truck, I have the barge still from the barge videos. So go check that out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.